but if you don't know about rats, I guess you're like a Victoria. I don't think Victoria. No, she doesn't. She is such a She's just a little snuggle muffin. She's really soft. All of these beforehand, yeah. so we're like, okay, this would be a good match for family with kids. Or, I mean, I, get here? <laughs> I think. Yeah. But as long as you announce yourself, they're fine. Occasionally, when you have a, a rat. Hi, Charlotte. Aww. It's soft, and the the hair is so soft. I didn't think it would be that soft, like a, a little fine lamb. Very beautiful, and they're so clean. They do clean themselves. I think more often than a cat. This is the first time I've ever pet a rat. They're I like it. I mean, it's not much different from petting any other kind of animal. Just sounded like a, a neat experience. I, I know that rats are like really smart and get a bad reputation. So, you know, I wanted to hang out with some, some rats and get that fun experience. They love to be pet. They're very affectionate. They're way more affectionate than any other small animal I know. I have guinea pigs. I've had other small animals. They will literally come up, lay next to you, and ask for snuggles. We tell the story of the plague here in San Francisco, and we really thought we wanted to do something special for the summer. Let's bring the rats to life. Let's let guests actually get a chance to get up close and personal with rats. Of course, plague-free rats.